Hey, my angry nation. In the latest video, we added a node to our VROPS. So in this video, we will be removing it. And to what's the reason to remove the node? Uh, could be a couple of them, but the first which comes to my mind is uh, the commission site. So the first thing we need to log into VROPS, but not for the UI, but for the admin. So admin. Okay, and as you remember, we add the remote collector and now we are going to remove it. So to highlight, you just click on the node and you see the gray background, which means that that node is highlighted. And now we need to take that node offline. So this button, just click it. So the first thing we will take the node uh, offline. So. This is the warning for data node. Uh, we don't have a data node. Actually, we do. It's a master node. As I don't know if you can see, but it's there. And we would have to take a cluster offline. But as long as this is the remote collector, we just need to highlight that node. Click Next. And then click that you understand the risk. Click Next. Put the reason. Decom and take the note offline, please. So, as you see, it's not running and it's offline. Now, depending on your environment, it could take up to a few minutes. It could take even half an hour. But as my environment is very small, it was very quick. Okay, now, once we have that note offline, so, Again, this is the note, note is offline, but it doesn't mean it's switched off. So let's have a look very quickly on the, the center. And we can see that collector is running and you can see note is on. Okay, so as we can see, we can have a look on the console. It's on, but here it's, just, it's offline. It's offline from the cluster. Okay, and now once it's offline and we have that highlighted, we can click on the red X and it will remove the node. Obviously, we have the important information that um, removing this node will not impact data in the cluster, but the node will be permanently removed from the cluster. You have to acknowledge and click yes. And there you are, node is gone. As you can see, we have only master node. So all we need to do now is to remove that VM from our vCenter. So let's click back to our vCenter. Let's click, the, uh, let's close the console. Okay, and we can now power off that VM. And once it's off, right click and remove from disk not from inventory. If you remove from inventory, it's only removing from vCenter, but the VM stays on data store. Delete from disk, which means it will be gone. So delete from disk. Yes, please. That's it. It's gone. And our VROPS is still working. We have a node um, collecting the data. Everything is fine. Okay, guys, that would be it for today. Um, I hope it was informative for you. Uh, if you like that video, uh, click the like button and subscribe, of course, and share that video. Don't forget to read my blog. It's angrysysops.com. My Twitter account is at angrysysops. And see you in the next video. Bye.